Now showing this is rather complex. I'm going to make an advanced course on this later on, but I just want you guys to see this and see the problem with asynchronous calls. And that's why I'm kind of putting it in here as the final part of this series right here. And um, the problem is that, again, adding these guys, they will be added asynchronously, meaning that the code will still execute, even though this is being pulled from the system. So even though we actually put in, we want to add the addresses here, it's not done adding those addresses when we actually call the function down here. So the address IDs will be empty. Now, the way to fix this is, of course, we need to start using observables and we need to figure out how we can actually make sure that these guys are called after each other. So whenever this is actually done getting all the different addresses, then go in and call this guy, but not until they're actually pulled all the address IDs. So we're going to do that using something called fork join. So this is kind of crazy stuff. And we will, I will make an advanced course where we start working more with this, but not right now. I just want to show you this because you can see the problems with not making a proper backend and also the power of Angular if people didn't make a proper backend. So it's just to show you this. So let's start out by saying instead of actually adding an address ID right away, we're going to make another constant here and that's just going to contain all the requests that we need to send to the backend. So this is going to be address requests right? This is going to be a list of all the requests that we need to send to actually create all the addresses. Just, just live with me right here. Now we're going to still do the for each loop, but instead of actually subscribing right now, I'll remove that. Because instead of actually subscribing, we're going to map this right here. We're going to map it <clears throat> so that we'll still do the same thing, but we are not actually executing this. We are just preparing the system for doing this. It's not, remember subscribe actually means execute and do it, but map or switch map, which we used earlier, just means prepare yourself for doing it. And when you're ready, then we will su subscribe. So that means that this now actually ends up with a request for each of these guys. So I can now push these requests to the list of all the requests that I want to do. Again, I know this is kind of magic and madness for some of you probably, but hopefully for some of you it also makes a bit of sense. So it means that instead of actually executing each request right here, I'm just preparing for executing the requests later on, right? So now it's prepared in here and I have a list now of requests that I want to execute. Now I can execute all of these requests using something called fork join. So let's try and actually do that. I'll make an observable right here. I'll do a fork join like this. Now to use this, you actually need to import something up here. And let me just show you what that is. You need to import this guy right here, the fork join, um, to actually use this code. So now we have the fork join. Now the fork join, it expects you to add a list of requests you want to execute. We just have that right here. So we'll do the inside here, we'll do the address requests inside the fork join. And then we can now subscribe. So let's just do the subscribe here in the end. And now we actually have, for each address now, this guy should be uh, added in there. So let's just try and say, we don't want to return anything interesting right now. And then we just want to kind of print with a console log. We just want to print all the address IDs. Did it actually get all the address IDs in here? Yeah. So now we are kind of here, we are preparing all the requests. And here we're explaining to the observable, I want to execute all the requests. And when you are done, then I want to show all the requests as one big chunk right here. Let's try and save this and let's try and run this again. Now, if this doesn't make sense, just try and rewatch the video. And again, I'm going to make an advanced course later that tries to explain this in different ways. But this course is getting out of hand, too many videos. So I need to start just wrapping this up and just showing you guys this as the final thing. So we're going to create a guy here again like we did before and we're going to do the save. Now notice again, we're actually sending an option request for each guy and we're sending a post request for each guy right here. And let's have a look at the console because now it should actually print out the entire setup. There we go. So now it's actually printing out the fork join right here is printing out the actual request that we needed. Sweet! So now we have something in the next lesson, we can say, when you're done doing all of these guys, then in here, I want to create the customer, right? Because now the IDs are populated. Let's do that in the next lesson.